You're listening to The Critical Thought, where we challenge our listeners to use critical thinking when examining the teachings of Jehovah's Witnesses. Hi, this is Daniel. Hey, this is JT. And the purpose of this video is to talk to you about the number one reason you should not trust the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible. Okay. JT, let's talk. All right, let's talk about it. Their Bible called the New World's Translation. Mm -hmm. Who wrote that book, bro? <laughs> That's the $64,000 question. Yeah, well, at least 64, I'm thinking 64 <laughs> million when we're talking about somebody's soul. It's interesting uh, how that when a religion comes out with their own Bible, mm -hmm. you can rest assured that all their teachings are going to match. Mm -hmm. uh, many people have asked, uh, who wrote the Bible? Who wrote y'all guys' Bible? In fact, when I was coming along years ago, it was a little green book, mm -hmm. a little green Bible. And people used to laugh at us at the door because we always had a little green Bible. Uh, but who wrote it is very interesting. When I got to Bethel, that was actually one of the questions I, I used to ask. Well, who, who, who was involved in writing the Bible? And when you would ask people, they would give you that dismissive look. Like, don't ask who wrote that, that Bible. Just, 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 just read and keep going. Mm. And so it wasn't until after we had actually left that I had the opportunity to do some research and find out that the people who were selected to write the Bible, their background in Hebrew and Greek, it was simply just not there. In fact, there was a court case that mm -hmm. spoke to this, uh, Fred Franz era, years ago. Yep. You've done the homework. But bottom line, if we don't know who wrote it, well, my aunt has a saying. Mm -hmm. If it can't be tested, it can't be trusted. Yeah. And if we can't test who wrote it or who translated it, yeah. how can we trust it? What was going on with you? Again, good looking and intelligent, 30 years, born in the truth, mm -hmm. and you never got to the truth about the truth? No. That was the Bible that was handed to me. That's the Bible I work with. And that's the way it is for every job. And it's kind of interesting how it works on a Bible study. When witnesses first come to a person's home and start a Bible study, mm -hmm. the person says, I want to use my Bible. True that. And I, I did that. Absolutely. And what does the witness say? Sure. Yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. And then as the weeks go by, as the months go by, there's a process that takes place. Mm -hmm. That King James Version, whatever Bible they're using, goes on the shelf, and now the Watchtower Bible comes out. Mm -hmm. At that point, is smooth sailing for the witnesses. So how did the organization convince you, your wife, your father-in-law, your family, that it was okay not to know who translated or wrote the New World's translation. I mean, wasn't it something about humble people and they didn't want their names to be acknowledged? Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, uh, the way they presented to us was, well, the people who wrote the Bible, they're humble men. Mm -hmm. They don't want any praise. They don't want any glory. They don't, they don't want their names in light, mm -hmm. which is kind of ironic because now all the governing body, they love to have their names in light. We see them on TV all the time. But that was what they told us. And so you, you would, they would reason with you. And this is why a Bible study is so important when you're having a person. You have to teach that person this. Well, see, these are humble men. They don't want to be no glory. And so it sounds reasonable. It sounds logical. But what it does, it hides who they are and what they actually know. And so it's a, it's a great opportunity just to keep it underneath the, underneath the radar. You know, I've heard it said, mm -hmm. uh, before you accept a Bible study with a Jehovah's Witness, mm -hmm. you need to do a history study on the Jehovah's Witness. Yes. And find out who wrote that Bible. And you will be looking, and when you find out who they are and identify those men, you will find when you look in their background, most of them were just high school graduates. Not even college folks. Not even college folks. I mean folks. that they weren't intelligent but didn't speak Greek, couldn't translate he no. Hebrew, but yet everything rises and falls on the accurate translation. Yes. We can't find out who did the translation. Yes. And the whole organization is based on this. That's exactly right. They call this scary, bro. It is scary. When you don't know who's responsible for something. Basically, when people won't put their name on something, they're not responsible for it. Mm. That's why people don't sign stuff. Mm. I don't want to be responsible for it. Mm. And that's what we have with this Bible. Um, and it has been used all around the world. And recently, of course, we know they now have a new Bible. And one of the questions that a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses are asking, especially those who are taking the time to ask critical thinking questions, what new scrolls have been discovered that require them to change their old Bible that they just changed? Wait what? A yeah. Wait a minute. You're giving me an aha. They, yeah. They got a new Bible. Yeah, it's called the Silver Sword. Tell us what? Yeah, it's called the Silver Sword. But it's the same New World's translation that we used to But it's study, been right? revised. Uh, 
with new updated. pages, or it just has a different color <laughs> and it's now silver instead of green? Well, actually, there have, and in fact, there's a number of uh, individuals on the web who've actually just taken time, just gone through verse by verse to show you the differences. Uh, but it just goes back to what we've said before. They are able to take their own Bible, translate it the way they want to, and of course, what that does, it fits perfectly with whatever they're teaching. Hey, listen. For those of you that are watching that are in the Christian community or even if you're an active Jehovah's Witness, mm -hmm. I think it's fair to say if you're not willing to put your name on paper, put it on paper, then why should I put my life on the paper that you're telling me yeah. that I should be convinced I should by? Be convinced by. Excellent uh, question. It's just it's inconsistent. Any final thoughts about uh, number one reason you can't trust the Jehovah's Witness Bible? You don't know even know who wrote it. If it can't be tested, it shouldn't be trusted. Absolutely not. That's Mama 101. <laughs> this is Daniel. This is JT. All right, we'll see you on the next one. All right. This program was sponsored by Critical Thinkers.